I have a question about your um, the more large scale performances or like rituals that you've been doing in Chile that were mentioned in your interview. And um, I'm wondering, so like I think there was language around like the idea of like people coming together and like freedom and convergence and. I'm wondering, like, when you get a large group of people together, like, there's always a kind of stratification, you know, there are people, I'm assuming, like, different classes, different ethnicities, and genders, and, and so I'm wondering, like, if it's a concern of yours, or, like, how you work with the idea of, like, making it um, a space where people can come with their whole selves, you know, so, so that everyone can feel the greatest degree of freedom possible, mm -hmm. like, if that's something you think of, and maybe it's just, like, I want to hear more about the performances mm -hmm. and practical terms to like kind of get a, a sense of, of yeah it's a, it's a wonderful wonderful question you know and i think that has to do with teaching i don't know if you have ever been do with teaching teaching i don't know if you have ever been a teacher or if you intend <laughs> to ever be a teacher and i think this is um what i'm going to say for me is is the key of teaching you know when i was about this big uh, I lived in in these wilderness places, you know, or, or even if when I was in a little town, towns were so small that the forest or the dunes were right there because I'm an ancient person. And I have this memory of gathering the little kids that were around my age, sometimes a little older, and creating what you would now call a little workshop. And I would disappear with my students and even my parents remembered that I actually did that so it's not in my imagination you know it's something that actually happened and I could go with this little group and you can imagine what a five six year old girl would be able to teach the other kids zero nothing I mean what on earth could I teach <coughs> so I suppose it is in that context that I learned the technique that I used to um, address what you just said. And the technique is exactly the same mm -hmm. as in the performance. You leave your ego completely out of it. And you come to this group that has gathered, and if you have a role of responsibility, being you know the facilitator or the organizer or the leader of whatever is happening, it is of the essence that you have zero ego involved in your electricity, in your bones, in your inner structure, so that when you speak, there's so much oneness in you with your own being, whatever that is, that everybody can, can come in. So I'm not judging, I'm not discerning, I'm not doing any of the things that create fissures or separations or nothing. Because I am in that state, I know that that state is contagious, is transmissible, just like AIDS. Mm -hmm. You transmit it just by pounding it, like, because you are, you know, now, in also in neuroscience, they speak of human beings as intentional beings. So it is the intent that you are coming from that has to be so strong and transparent that it creates that space. And it's a welcoming space, it's a warm space, it's a safe space. But it has to be safe first of all for you. Because if it's not safe for you, it cannot be safe for anyone. So if you have fear that you're not going to be able to do it or you're going to be dumb or you're going to whatever that's judgment so it's really a training as to how to be free of those things to act really of love from love and for love and once you experience it it's like water running in France which are cold and you don't even have to think of it because it's just For example, when I arrived in Santiago this time, my mother is 90 years old, 
and she's very strong and healthy, but she was ailing. And she couldn't walk, she couldn't do this, couldn't grab anything. She had developed a new disease that makes people not being able to grip or stand this. Some people never get healed. And I'm, I somehow felt that I have to do something to bring my mother back to life. Of course, I didn't know what on earth to do. And it was really terrible. I was very all the things. But in any case, a moment came when I realized I had to create an instance because my mother is a wonderful singer. And I invited uh, a group of women to sing together and I made my mother part of this circle and it was like 10 women we didn't rehearse, we met and we performed in public and my mother was healed what healed her? it's so beautiful what happened give me your hand you know? mm -hmm. give me your hand you can hold each other hands so I began singing Where did that energy come from? Whee! started to go like that. From the hearts of all those women. Do you think I ever said a word about my mother? Never. There was no need. You would look at my mother now, you would never even dream that she was so sick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 